Welcome to our helpful step-by-step -step guide for fitting the sensor system's watchman alarm, oil level monitor and alarm. Please note the oil tank shown is not properly installed, it is for demonstration purposes only. Your pack contains the following. A transmitter including base and weatherproof seal. A receiver. Installation instructions. Anti-deterrent label. And two screws. Ensure you keep the installation instructions for reference and warranty information. You will also need a star head screwdriver and a measuring tape. You will also need a drill if your tank is not pre-drilled. At this point, the height of the tank can be measured using a measuring tape as shown. The measuring points are from the base of the tank to where the transmitter will be placed. Please take a note of the height. Make sure to measure the tank only, not the platform or base it sits on. If you are measuring the height of a bonded, double skinned tank, it's the height of the inner tank that applies. Most tanks have a pre-drilled hole as shown, covered by a cap. However, some tanks may not be prepared this way and therefore a 32mm hole will need to be drilled. Please follow the next instructions very carefully. To drill your tank 1. Choose a flat level point that is at the same level and no higher than any opening at the top of the tank, like this image. 2. The transmitter cannot sit at an angle. 3. For tanks with windows, ensure transmitter is not positioned in any of the areas as shown. Now that you have drilled your hole correctly, or located the pre-drilled hole, the base of the transmitter can be fitted. Secure the watchman alarm base onto the tank with the two screws supplied, ensuring the weather seal is also in place under the transmitter base. Now the receiver must be set. To do this is very simple. Simply turn the receiver round to show the multi-switch settings above the pins. Refer back to the installation instructions provided as this will detail a chart for which to set your switches as shown. You will need the recorded tank height to determine what dip switches you set. Using a screwdriver or ballpoint pen, flip the relevant switches up to set your receiver. Please note, switches 1 and 2 are factory set and should not be tampered. The next step is to match the transmitter and receiver so they communicate with each other. To do this is simple. Look for the black dot on the side of the receiver and black dot on the transmitter. Plug the receiver into a socket and switch on. Hold the transmitter to the right side of the receiver so the black dot on the rim of the transmitter touches the black dot on the receiver. It is important that they are held together for 20 seconds to be matched up. The display screen on the receiver will flash to show it is matched. The last step is to screw the transmitter into the base, ensuring it is vertical and level on top of the tank. Check the level reading on the receiver. You should have an accurate reading of the level of oil in the tank within the next two hours. Thank you for watching.